I uh, tried blue lens glasses for a little bit um, to uh, cut down on the light um, for the seizures as a trigger. Um, and it seemed to work, but also didn't, which then led back to looking for dietary answers. One of the biggest things was that I was having a lot of sensations in my eyes um, all throughout college, uh, my first college. And uh, five years worth of being in some sort of like, it's almost like an alternate reality where you're, you merge with some something that's in front of you, but not really here. Um, and when I decided to start removing sugar, that sensation in my eyes literally left. Um, and that told me, that started to, you know, convince me that the Atkins actually has, is probably the route that I need to go. Um, and uh, so that, that, that really changed my, that was a turning point for me when that sensation in my eyes stopped. It didn't stop the seizures, but like, but it, it stopped that kind and it changed my lifestyle. I was like, in, in my late thirties, I started to see the world that I saw through a virtual reality almost my entire life through a different lens. It was like, I'd go through York and, and see buildings that I saw as a kid, um, all warped. And it would feel like I was seeing them again for the first time through a normal set of eyes. And just because I, I got rid of the sugar. So it was, it was a massive, massive change through the diet. I can definitely tell you technology is a trigger that has changed and I, I think even as our society changes and things become more technology driven um, as they start placing you know things underground and above ground and so many different devices tracking devices um, it changes the energy really all around you and which ultimately changes how your body, uh, the degree of energy that your body soaks up um, or doesn't depending where you are. Um, so like I, I can't be on a computer for more than like three hours at a time. Um, cell phone, can't stare at it for more, more than like two or three hours. Um, it, it does something to my, to my brain, um, causes me to seize and not be able to sleep. Um, so I, I've been trying to decrease technology in my life. Um, and, uh, it does seem to um, get rid of a lot of stimulation. Carbs in general, I, I mean, they ultimately turn to sugar. So when I, when I, um, I know one thing that I'm trying to refine now is to make sure that the caloric intake uh, is, supersedes the, the carb intake and ultimately the sugar intake, because if they're not offsetting each other, um, it will send me into nighttime seizures. Like I, I can't have a, a chunk of carbs before I go to bed, otherwise I have nighttime seizures because I, I have a sugar. Uh, I've told my neurologist, I believe they are, my nighttime seizures are sugar seizures. Um, and the ones during the day, are, are not that. They're more stim outside stimulation seizures. Well, I definitely would recommend 
the Atkins diet. Um, I know that I uh, initially was attempting the keto diet and it uh, was brought to my attention that the Atkins was more conducive to the adult. Um, and uh, so I guess my, my advice would be ease into it. You know, don't expect that it's um, all going to happen at once. It really is a an experimental process. Um, learning learning to pick the foods that are healthy for you and fit into that Atkins category uh, from a grocery store um, is. Um, is an art within itself and um everything is so processed and everything is uh so sugar-based and we live in a carb society and uh to uh i just would recommend that you look for those key key foods that, that work initially and try to build onto your diet um, I'm still doing it a couple years after the fact and I, uh, I'm getting better. So I uh, believe that anyone out there who's in need of the Atkins diet can ease into it and improve with time.